begin with hand scars, you're going to first start doing a sideways z-grip with your middle and thumb contacting almost the corners and you want to make sure you have like an even packet distribution. I usually keep the middle packet a little bit less and as you do this you want to pick up a charlier packet and immediately position that charlier packet in like a revolution with your pinky on the bottom or on the side and the first motion that's going to happen is you're going to use your index finger to slide this top packet down across the face of that rev packet. And you wanna make sure you pinch that packet using your index finger and middle finger as you contact this three of hearts packet with your thumb and your index finger in the left hand and making sure you pinch these two. And what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna turn everything over into the right hand, making sure that this packet under here contacts like this inner crevice between the pinky and the ring finger and you're going to slide everything down across the face of that packet, just like so, making sure that Ace of Spades packet lands in almost a straddle grip, and make sure you wanna keep contact between this pinch packet, because that's what's gonna be sliding over everything just like this. So you're gonna use your left hand to go up and over, and right here you wanna make sure that this is pinched between the pinky and the ring, and at the same time you're gonna drop this thumb cut packet into a straddle grip over that pinky packet, just like this, making sure you contact into that fleshy part of your thumb. Now from here, this is where I do this display where I push this packet backwards and I do this little Spider-Man symbol as you lift up almost as high as you can with this, just like this. And from here, you're gonna swing back downwards the opposite direction that you went and using the right three fingers, you're going to kick this three of hearts packet forwards so you can connect that packet and also you take the straddle grip and slide it backwards and you're going to take your thumb and push those two together as you take your hand wrap it around the right one and almost give it like a little toss into dealer's grip and that's hand scars.
So to begin Agent Orange, you're going to be first starting with a Charlier grip pressed up against your thumb like this. Now two things are going to be happening at once. You're going to be taking a hinge packet with the thumb and middle finger almost on the corners like this. And what's happening on the bottom is you're going to be taking a smaller packet with your index finger and you're going to be first rolling this hinge packet up and over just like this. Now at the same time what you want to do is you're going to take that index finger packet and you're going to push as far as you can with your index finger revealing that one packet just like so. Now from here you want to make sure that this one packet up here is being held only by the index finger up against that thumb cut grip and you're going to want to swing these two open at the same time and you can use your index finger here to pinch that one packet for more stability and you're going to next drop this one packet into a farther straddle grip so you can grip with your thumb this top packet and you're going to then push forward with your thumb and index finger so you can re-grip with the ring finger as you do this almost spin by curling your index finger like so. And then from here you're going to take that same packet and slide it along this edge so you can re-grip with your index finger like this. And now two things are going to be happening at once. You're going to be taking that same packet and sliding it up across until you hit the index finger one more time. And then using the thumb cut packet, you're going to roll it into a straddle grip and then into a pinched grip with the index finger and middle finger, giving you this very elongated display, which I think is pretty cool. And then from here to close this, you're going to be taking that same packet that you stole up and placing it back in front of the Ace of Spades packet. And then you're going to be rolling this packet in your right hand over this Ace of Spades packet and re-gripping it into this pinch grip, just like this. Now from here, you're gonna be making sure you pinch this packet like this as you close the packets in the left hand, just by squeezing as you slide down or re-gripping this packet almost into a pistol grip like so which is just index finger to fleshy part of your thumb. And then you're going to be loading the rest of the packets almost in a Z grip closer. And then using your index finger and middle finger, you're gonna guide these two packets to almost get shot over to the left hand, just like this. And that's Agent Orange. So to start with small talk, you're gonna be entering a modified Sybil grip where the middle packet is being held with the ring finger and the top packet's being held with the middle finger and your index finger to guide. 
Now the first motion you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking your left thumb and left index finger to turn over those top three packets just like so. And now from here you're going to be using your right thumb to push these three packets almost together as you pinch and pull with the fingers underneath to cause them to split and separate just like this. This might be a little knacky, but I'm sure the more times you play with this opener, the easier it will become. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this nine of spades or nine of hearts packet and contact it with the left index finger just like so. And from here you're gonna take your right thumb and contact the topmost edge of this four of spades packet, almost like along the edge with it. And you're going to be using your right thumb right here to push this six of clubs packet so you can contact it with the middle finger. And then you're gonna be using your right index finger to slide across the face of that packet, just like so. As you use your index finger in the left hand to push up as far as you can, almost giving you like a right angle down here. And you wanna make sure this packet's being held between the middle ring and thumb, just like this. And now from here, you're gonna be getting ready to do a packet steal using your right thumb and index finger. And you're gonna be taking this dealer's grip packet or the straddle grip packet as you turn your left hand up and over just like this. And you're gonna pinch this packet. And then from here, you're going to take your left hand with these two packets, this almost V structure, and carry along this range of motion all the way down as you continue this pinch with your thumb and index finger in your right hand, letting this queen of spades packet almost rest on top of your thumb. Now from here, you wanna continue the range of motion with this four of spades packet in between the index and middle finger in your right hand, so it slices in between both of the fingers as the queen of spades packet falls down and you can release your thumb at this point. And from here, you're gonna continue the range of motion all the way down, and you're gonna take this bottommost packet and enter it into a straddle grip as you close these top two packets, just like this. And now from here, there isn't much like proper grips, but you're gonna slide everything back up and over, and you're going to connect these two packets together using your right index finger. And the reason why you use your right index finger is so you can slide this packet under the straddle grip just like this. And then to clean it up, you're gonna use your right hand and your thumb to carry this packet up and over and roll into the palm. Or you can take it and flip it up into the palm. And that's small talk. I don't know, I think it's like, I think jazz is kind of like hip hop. I think jazz is uh, a state of mind, state of mind, state of mind, state of mind. <laughs> So to begin with Malcolm Z, you're gonna be doing that same similar sideways Z grip, contacting with the middle finger and your thumb on the sides of the packets, almost the corners. And one thing you wanna make sure is you keep a relatively small packet in the middle, uh, roughly around 10 cards, because it's gonna be flipping and flopping and doing all a bunch of stuff. So now the first motion you're gonna do is you're gonna take that middle packet and you're going to pinch with the left thumb and bring it up and over and you're gonna take that top packet and put it in the middle 
almost like a pistol grip where you push it up against the webbing of your thumb and also grip with the left index finger like so. Now this is actually where the name comes from because you're going to take your right middle finger and split off a Z grip just like this. Now this is probably the hardest part of the move, but just practice, you got it. Now from here, you're going to take this Z grip and swing it forward so this middle packet of the Z grip can rest up and over on top of the middle of the thumb packet. And it's almost going to be perched like this. And from here, you're going to take the bottom most packet and push it in between this crevice in the right hand as you pick it up with the pinky, just like so. Now you're going to be taking that three of hearts packet and sliding it forward so you can re-grip with the left index finger on this pistol grip, just like this. And you're also going to be sliding it downwards in between the right index and right middle finger just like this all the way down now from here you're going to be swinging back down in that same way so these two packets can line up in a claw grip and you're going to close them and make sure they land inside of this claw grip just like so and now as that happens you're going to be using your right hand with that packet to swivel forward and upwards onto that pistol grip resting on top of the index finger just like so and you're gonna pinch it downwards so it can close and using that same range of motion you're gonna take this tennis spades packet and swivel it into the claw grip just like that now to close it you're gonna be picking up this one packet with your thumb just like this as this pistol grip gets pushed forward with your left index finger and they both turn over and the pistol grip falls over. Now to clean it up, I take the whole packet, show the face and tumble it over on dealer's grip. And that is Malcolm Z. All right, so to begin SR20, you're gonna be starting with a regular Z grip with the middle finger contacting the top and your index finger on top assisting. So the first motion you're gonna be doing is you're gonna use your index finger to flip over that packet to get into this position. And then you're gonna be using your left thumb to contact that top packet and split off a packet just like so. Sometimes you can riffle it to give you a little more assistance. But from here, you're gonna use your right thumb to roll over that scissor cut packet to split off an extra one, just like this. Now from here, you're gonna use your right hand to swivel out towards the right. And as soon as you get to about this point, you're going to switch fingers from the index to the middle finger, just like this. 
and you're just going to want to continue this range of motion and bringing this packet all the way back like so so it lands on top of the middle and ring finger and from here you're going to switch positions from that top packet from the middle finger to the ring finger so you can open up and have a lot more space like so and from here you're going to drop that packet that's resting on the middle and ring on top of that straddle grip packet as you bring this ring finger packet forward you're also going to be doing a scissor cut and bringing that scissor cut packet downwards now this motion right here is going to require a almost pinching motion with the index and middle finger now you're going to swing this packet backwards and as you do that down here you're going to want to try to position the scissor cut packet underneath both of those packets that are resting in that straddle grip so you're going to want to swing backwards reposition that packet and from here you're going to use this nine of clubs packet to almost disconnect and then swing forward and make it connect onto the fatty part of your thumb right around here now from here you're going to release that pinch and use your index finger to square up these back two packets like this onto your palm and at the same time as you do that you're going to release your index finger in your left hand causing this other two packets to line up in another right angle now from here here's where you get this display and you're going to close them all together just by pushing downwards and you're going to take your right hand and swivel this packet over to your right just like this and then you're going to use your index and middle finger to squeeze this one packet like this as you contact this four of diamonds packet with your thumb you're going to swing this one packet outwards causing this packet to almost line up in the middle with your thumb like so now from here you're going to take this king of diamonds packet pinch it backwards slide it so these two can connect down there and then you're going to use the index finger in your left hand to kick up and then roll over your thumb and close and that's sr20 Alright, in the next move, Silver Street, you're going to need to know a mechanic used in one of my older moves, Forklift. And it's a pretty simple mechanic. It's where you take your ring finger and your pinky finger underneath a packet, just like so. And you're going to extend your ring finger out, just like this, causing the packet to rotate forward. And you'll pinch it in between the index finger and middle finger, just like so. And from there, you can curl the packet in, just like that. To begin, you're going to be entering a, another modified Sybil Grip, almost like the opener of S Small Talk, where the middle packet is being held between the ring finger and the top packet is being held between the middle and the index finger. So to begin, you're going to be taking your left thumb and contacting the top packet and splitting them away from the rest by pulling back with the index. And you're going to start to bow this packet pretty hard depending on how many cards you have up there and at the same time you're going to roll your index finger down causing the packet to split open another packet which will be the fifth packet from this point and you want to make sure you have enough space to do this next part where you take your left hand and rotate these two packets upwards just like this so this extra split packet can land on top of it 
causing it to almost land on the back of the hand, just like so. And when you do this, you want to be pinching this middle packet between the index and the middle finger as the other two packets are lined up, just like this. Now from here, you want to be taking your left hand, which should be free with the base packet, and using that mechanic that I showed you guys earlier to flip open the back packet that's on the back of your hand up against the pinched packet as you lay that same packet down right behind the packet we just kicked up just like so and your left hand should be completely free now from here in a one swift motion you're gonna use your index finger to steal the packet that's being held up against the ring this outermost packet forward just like this and you're gonna open up everything and then you're gonna use your middle and your ring finger to almost claw grip the outermost packet to continue the range of motion so you can connect it on the back of the hand and you're going to be doing almost the same thing with your two thumbs and you're going to extend as far as you can so you can connect it on the other packet that's on the back of your hand and now from here you should be able to let go once again with everything and just hold it in the right hand but from here, you're gonna take your left hand and connect your thumb onto the top here. And you're gonna throw almost everything down into the left hand, causing that nine of spades packet to land in a straddle grip. And then from here to close it, you're going to take your right hand, curl those two fingers in, just like this. As you drop that almost Charlier packet, leaving you in this tri structure where you're gonna use both thumbs as almost like an accent mark and then close it and turn it back to dealer's grip and that is Silver Street. All right, so this next move for JC is also pretty difficult and relies again on balance. Um, it is a bigger version of my previous move to JZ, so you'll have to learn it, which you can find in the Cinco demos. If you just type in Cinco demos and my name, you should be able to find it on YouTube. So to begin for JC, you're gonna be doing the same 2JZ opener, just like so. But here's where things change, where you get to this point, you're gonna use your right thumb in the back to split off another packet, almost by just rolling it. And you're gonna continue the revolution, just like this. And you're gonna try to get it into pistol grip, where you're going to be splitting off the extra packet right here, just by holding it up with your index finger in your right hand and lifting upwards like this. And now from here, you're gonna be using the pinky in the back here 
to slide along that recently split packet as you release that ring finger under it, causing it to rest on top of the base packet and you almost get this Z structure to line up here. And then from here, you're going to raise your right hand up so you can re-grip this Six of Clubs packet onto the thumb which is where you'll get this first Z structure that will be collapsing second. And then we'll be building the next Z structure where you take this nine of clubs packet and pinch it with your index finger and your middle finger. And you're just gonna disconnect from the index finger grip and you're gonna carry it all the way back here. And you're gonna place it right under the base packet. And here's where the balance part comes into play where you're just going to be balancing this one packet on top of this pinched packet and you're going to release the fingers and the packet's going to almost want to fall down and you'll notice that this is where the Z structure comes into play as it falls down and collapses and connects you'll get that Z structure and you'll be left with this last Z structure that you can just connect with your index finger to thumb and roll over towards you as you take this packet in your right hand and flip over into the base packet along with the other one. And that is for Jay-Z. So this next move is Ava or Samantha, whatever you want to call it. It got two names. So this move is a bigger version of the small talk opener, which you're going to start by doing the same thing where you take a Sybil grip and use your ring finger to use the middle packet and the top packet gets contacted with the middle finger as you break off an extra packet down here in a Charlier position. And you're going to do the same exact opener where you squish with your thumb, releasing all three packets like so. And you're also going to be squishing the bottom Charlier packet with your thumb and uh, middle finger, just like so. And then from here, you're going to be taking that six of diamonds packet and letting go with the fingers in your right hand, letting it drop onto the index finger of your left hand. And it should be landing almost on the ring finger. And from here, you're going to be using the three of diamonds packet to do a revolution type motion forward and out from underneath those two packets like this. And at the same time, you're going to be taking this top packet with your middle finger and curling it inwards so you can regrip it like this. And this packet should just land on top of your index finger, almost in a straddle grip on top of that. So from here, you're going to be doing this like hinging motion with these two packets uh, from your thumb and index finger. And from here, it might be a little tricky to figure out how to do this, but I take my right hand and I swing it backwards. And you want to line up the six of diamonds packet with the index finger in the right hand. And in the left hand, you're going to be using your left index finger to guide this packet so you can lift up and rotate over just like that. 
And from here, you're gonna contact the frontmost facing packet with your left thumb and your right index finger, as the packet right under it will be contacted with the left index finger and thumb. And from here, you're gonna raise your right hand upwards like this, and you're gonna contact that frontmost facing packet with your middle finger and ring. And from here, you're gonna be using your right hand to push down and forward as you kick up a packet up like this, almost into a thumb grip or a thumb cut grip as this packet slides along the face of the three of diamonds packet, just like that. And from here, you're gonna be taking this packet up here in the top part with your thumb and you're gonna be pushing it forward to close those two packets, and then you're going to feed it up and under the Six of Diamonds packet, just like this. So you can connect those two as you leave the thumb under both packets. So you can use it to re-grip this thumb cut grip with your thumb and your ring finger and middle, and you're going to slide it forward. So you can clear the thumb, and then you're going to be doing like a pushing forward motion and you're going to be getting ready to do the closer where you take the bottom straddle grip and you're going to swing out by pinching with your index finger and middle finger and closing the other two packets underneath and closing like so. That's Ava.